Hi there and welcome back to chapter 4, lecture number 22. So in the previous video we did a quick review on the scene render and my conclusion was that the grass was a little bit too saturated. So we now mixing two grass types, so the original one and a saturated one and I want to fix the color. So we pick a random strand because they are all sharing the same material and I want to focus on the saturation. Uh, right now it's 0.3, so make this 0.5. There we go. And just a quick check. Yeah, I was thinking about is the default value uh, 0.5, but it's one, so it was a, a very intense value. And maybe we even need to make it 0.6. And I also want to change the terrain, uh, you know, the park system. It's now seven. Let's turn this back to eight. Because my, I, I thought it was too small. So it was very small grass patches. So we will find out if that worked or not. So, so far the changes for uh, the review. And now I want to focus on read because Right now we have a very empty space here, so it's grass, terrain and water. So I want to put something in front of it to just blend the transition. And for this I want to turn off everything and click on nature, go for new and it should be, let's turn this grass set off, there's nature too, it's just making a duplication. And we write with double click, yes, <laughs> we call this read. So we want the the sunlight and we want the read to, to be there. All right, so let's get, have a quick view on this image. I took this image uh, some time ago because I saw some nice, yeah, I call this a read because you can also find it in the water. Uh, I think it's very tall grass and it's cut off and then it's dead. And I, w I took one strand with me and I want to recreate it and make some variations on it. So in this lecture, we focus on importing a background image. We're going to make it and in the next lecture, we will make variations and importing this as a, as a particle system. All right, so go back to Blender and let's go to the images, grass texture, and I will import this one. We left click it. And you may be not notified that there is no more error when importing the, the image. That's not because Blender fixed this issue, but I installed a different uh, key registration screencast plugin <laughs> and it works. So I'm happy. So I imported this image. It's very big. So let's make it a bit smaller and drag it. So, ah, you can select it. You actually can select it. And no, you can't. <laughs> I thought you can drag it, but uh, just press G to drag it. All right, so enough talking. What I like to do now is go to add mesh cylinder, and you go to cylinder and change the vertices to six. So that will make it a very low poly uh, cylinder, uh, and that's exactly what we want because you can, if you keep the 32 and you make like 10,000 of, of read strands, it will really hit the performance of the computer. And now we have a very beautiful small cylinder and you won't see this when you uh, add a texture on it. You, we add a smooth hook. What is happening? We want to make this smaller. In edit mode and drag this to the bottom, drag this a bit more and let's go here. So we will just copy the shape of the strand, but we will use a different texture, what is a little bit stretched to use the image on the, on the strand. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We'll go to wireframe, I like to select the top part and we drag this upwards. And each time when there is a Let's hide. So you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's a little bit no annoying. Let's go to the layout because we don't need all the tabs. All right. I hope you can see it. There is no way for me to to increase the 
the size of the text so sorry for that I will just uh, notify what kind of keys I press so where we want to go to the wireframe and I want to extrude this and scale it a little and scale it a bit more. Uh, just extrude it again and you go back so what we will do is later on we will add uh, a different piece of cylinder right there to make this object but for now we continue and we extrude it and we have another um, we say another piece of read so we extrude it and we make it smaller and we continue and read is a very simple object to to make and uh, it fits your scene if you create an environment scene with water you definitely should add some read it's uh it's worth it so we have this end and let's make it <laughs> make it end right so i also like to just copy this part and shift b s scale it and put it inside of the other strand control l control l yeah and extrude it and again and again and make it smaller in the end yes and press in the end you press x and click faces so um, it's uh, the, the end control point <laughs> let's go to solid mode the end will be a uh, hole and that's uh, a sort of optimization and I want to have a bit more at the bottom. Same for this one, it's faces. And we want to extrude this part as well. Or not, we're not going to extrude it. We will just copy this part, Shift D, and merge it inside of the uh, of the read. And we continue. So we're almost finished with the. Uh, and it's a weird ending right there. So just make it final with making uh, it, it uh, finished. Well, what I tried to say is you extrude it and you remove the, the end. So something like this. So we need to remove the top here as well. All right. Good, 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 good. So what we will do is go to the material tab, go for new, call it read. All right. And we will add an image texture. For just importing images, you can use this tab instead of going to the workspace where your whole interface will be changed. We open it and the, the, the grass texture but there should be a read cross read diff and now i like to select everything press u and project from view and we go to the uv editing and there it is so you select all the vertices and scale it just like that lovely so, as I mentioned, I just stretch this image a bit, so we have some freedom in scaling. You don't want the white on it. So try to take as much space as, po as possible. All right. Not for every part, but as long as it's not in this brownish color. Stretch this one a little. And that one as well. Good. Stretch this a bit. And left click on the image and press H. Or you can delete it because we don't need it anymore. And let's take a quick look on it. 
And that is our read um, strand. <laughs> so I will call this lecture final. And in the next one, we will make a couple of duplications and make some funny uh, yeah, variations on it. So it will not look exactly the same. And this one is very straight. So we will twist these ends a bit. So uh, it will look good. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this lecture. If, if you have any questions, just ask it on the dashboard and we will help you with it. Good, see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.